Mushroom Gecko. Hey guys, what is up? Mushroom Gecko here. Now today, we are doing another Team Fortress 2 review of the, uh, the best and worst weapons for the Demo Man and Demo Knight class. Yes, um, I consider them two separate classes, but yet they are the same person. So I am considering them two separate classes in one video. Now, uh, we're doing the Demo Man loadout first. We have the Lock and Load, the Scottish Resistance, and the Frying Pan, which is supposed to be the Ham Shank. And I'll explain that later. Alright, so first, the Lock and Load. The Lock and Load is really good because, um, really all, um, yeah, so like, ah, crud. Yeah, so like, the Lock and Load is really good because, like, it does more damage than the standard grenade launcher and it also fires faster, even though it disintegrates, uh, on contact with the floor or the wall. It is really good if you get good aim on this thing. Um, the reason why I'd not choose the, um, the, what, whatchamacallit, uh oh. Um, the, 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 the cannon, the, the loose cannon, and I'm a horrible shot on this. Nope. The reason why I did not shoot the, uh, the loose cannon is because, first, it just has a shorter fuse time, and, like, you can't really get much control on the, on the, like, yes, you have some control on it, but, um, like, you, you cannot really control, like, where it goes and stuff, because it's just, it's really hard to master, but it's still a really good weapon, but it's really hard to master. And, um, and here we are. But yeah, um, that's why I chose the lock and load. Uh, if you, if you can get this in a, in a group of people and just, like, obliterate them, that, that would just be amazing. Uh, just remember, guys, this is all on opinion and a bit on research. And I hate how the guy always, um, backs at me. The next thing we have on the list is the Scottish Resistance. The Scottish Resistance is really cool because it adds you five more, um, it adds you five more, um, grenades than you can normally have. And if, if you can, like, just, yeah, I could just, like, do that. It has a major knockback. And just, like, yeah, it's kill you right there. Like, like it's just, it's a really good weapon. Because, um, it just is. Come on. Uh-oh. Hang on. We need, to, we need to get this guy. Nope. 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 Ah. Okay. Okay. So I just got auto-balanced on red. Let's see how it does against the blues. But, um, alright. Yeah, let's just, let's just do you right, right here. Ah, crud. Alright. Um, it's really good if you could just, like, even though it has, um, a, um, a longer fuse time, you can still get it in the air and still get, like, explosions, like, right off the bat right there. Um, even though, like, the regular grenade launcher, you can just, like, fire in the air, just, like, fire in between a uh, multiple crowd of people, and, uh, oh, crud. But, yeah, like, just, just watch this, watch. Yeah! Ah! Yeah, let's try that, let's try that one more time with, like, the lock and load real quick. Um... That was really good. That was really, really good. That was awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I froze. Okay, I froze up there for a second. Um, I think we got this. I think we got this. I, I'm pretty sure we can take him out. I'm pretty sure we can take him out. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just... Nope. Nope. Ah, crud. But, yeah. Okay. Um, just one more. Let's just take this demo man in. Where are you? Where are you, bruh? Like just wherever they are, I don't even. Oh yes! Oh yes! Ah yeah. Okay. So yeah, next weapon. And we have the frying pan. I mean, like, how could you not love the frying pan? I mean, come on, it is a frying pan. I would have chose the uh, the ham shank only because you. Well, you can smack people with a ham. Uh, that that would be my only excuse, and I'm in between the people of blue that I could just be smacking up right now. But no, I'm keep thinking that they're my people, because I was just on blue for like the past hour. But yeah, um, here he's just like I want him to come over here. Oh, yeah. I hate Jeff the Killer, but yeah, um, come here, come here. Oh, he sees me. Like he's just like no. Oh, he's, he's completely invisible. Uh-oh. Yes! 
Yes! Woo! Yeah. Like, like that's what you can do if you know this stuff. Like, just, you, you can use this to your advantage. Like, no, like, just no problem. Just, like, go wicky-wham, wham, you are my ham, son. And he's gonna, like, drop that right there. Take him out real quick. Yep, yeah, no. Alright, so yeah, um, sad that I did not show you guys the frying pan, but we do have to, uh, move on to the, uh, the, the worser classes, or the, the worser loadout, so yeah, see you guys in a sec. And this is the worst loadout, I have the loose cannon, the sticky jumper, and the Ola Pula caber. Um, yeah, you know how I said that the, uh, loose cannon was good? It is, just, it's just did not make him live. Like I, I just think this that the standard loadout is better than this. Like, like I can, like I know how you can control the fuse and all, but like, come on, like, like it bounces off a thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are we seriously doing this? Oh boy. Yes. Okay. Well, at least we got their sentry. All right. Um, and this is the worst. Um, this is the worst sticky. Yes, it's the sticky jumper. This is the demo man. Just remember, this is the demo man, not the demo knight. So yeah. Um, it's really good if you're using demo knight, but not when you're using demo man. I mean, just you know, it, it's common logic. All right. Um. Just, just, it, it does no damage against the, the, uh, the other team, so, like, that, just, no. And the reason why the, um, I'm not sure if I said it, but I can say it again, okay. Um, I'm not, I'll say it again if I, if I didn't say it already, just the loose cannon, it's just, um, it bounces off the things easily, it, um, it knocks, like, it's good that it knocks players back, like, but only in the direction that you want it. Yeah, like you can double get a double donk thing right there with uh with crit, but um that's really all you can really get. So uh yeah, like just just the double donk, just just bouncing off the wall like that. I mean like the uh, the other things just don't bounce off the wall like that. I mean like just not as much. I mean it bounces off the wall just not that much. I mean just look at this. So yeah, just um not not my, not my thing of choice. Just for standard gameplay, I mean, like, if I have to use it in certain situations, I will. But just not not in standard gameplay, and I did something stupid right there. And the worst melee weapon is the Olapula Caber. I am sorry, you Olapula fans. Just, I, I just do not like this, only because, well... Yeah, just, like, look at that. Like, it does, like, ha it takes half your damage away. You can't even use it after that. And it just... No, and I I just killed two guys right there. Okay, um, just it's not, it's not just no. Like like I think it does like one thing of damage. I'm not really sure, but like it just it does not do. Oh crud! Yeah, the Olapula rechargers after that. But just like not not really my melee of choice, you know. And uh, who is that? Oh, hey buddy. Ooh! Okay, that was that was really good actually. But yeah, just like um I wouldn't be using it much in, in like a standard melee type thing. I mean like the pan I can actually use over and over again. Just this just like one time explosion boom takes away half your health and just it doesn't even just no. And those are two spies, which I'm going to take out right about now. Alright, so, yeah, next to the, alright, now, to the demo. Alright, and, uh, this is the best demo night loadout. We have the, uh, the Persian Persuader, we have the Splendid Screen, and we have the, uh, the, the Bootlegger. Uh, the, the Persian Persuader only because it gives you health, health whenever someone dies. The Splendid Screen is because you, if, just in case you miss that swing, it charges into them as, like, a last resort type thing. 
And if I can like, like show you real quick right here, if someone does not take the kill, I could get the, the kill. And uh, yeah. Um, and the bootlegger because it gives you some control. So yeah, it's really good. And plus, the Persian Persuader doubles your char like just half your charge rate. So you can charge quicker. Uh, Thanks, so then you can just like go hey. full out just hey. rah, on top of people. But here's this guy. Just like wait for this guy. Uh oh. Okay. He is going to. I'm, I, he's just like waiting for me. Oh boy! That was awesome. All right. So yeah. Um. I, I'm pretty sure the bootlegger, like, um, the bootlegger and something else, uh, gives you control over your, um, your, your charge, like, which way you go, just, like, kind of, but just the reason why I chose this is because, um, the bootlegger is because the description literally says, impress women, and I, and I'm not even lying, like, I will legit, I, I will show you, I will show you. It's like, here's, here's the description. Um, a major friend, impressed women, walk on a limp for life. That's, that's critique or something like that. Just like, look at all this thing. Plus 25 max health. Plus 20, uh, 200 increase on turning control. And, uh, and kills while charging refill 25% of your meters. So, yeah, that's just, like, how did that not sound good when you're a demo knight? Just, just, just like, that's amazing. And, um, and I'm just gonna show you, like, just a regular charge thing. Like this. Yeah, just, like, it shows the shield. And just, uh, yeah, just, like, you can do that. Like, all, just all day, all night, you can just do that. Just, like, charge into people. And, oh boy, I think I charged into someone, but I'm not really sure. Just, like, as you saw, I gained some health. Um, Does anybody have any demo man cosmetics I could buy? Just like, just look at that. Like, I'm just gaining hell. Just like nine per whatever. No. Oh, did I seriously just run into a guy? All right. I don't even know. I'm just gonna go onto the worst loadout. Dead ringer. All right. I am back, and um, right here, here is the worst loadout. We have the half the two sheet. We have the charging charge, and we have the base jumper. Um, now the reason why we have these uh weapons. It's because the half of the two sheet really cannot be sheathed and really does not have any special qualities unless you kill someone. And like the only special quality it has is just um the only special quality it has is just um restoring your health to one hundred percent once you uh kill someone. Which really it's good, but just would you really waste like most of your life trying to kill someone? Uh just like when you can have the person persuader just like constantly heal you and i mean constantly oh boy we well, look at that sorry guys that ran into my talk but uh yeah now um the half the uh the charge and charge is not bad it has a lot of special qualities actually i really do not want to put it on this list um but like just the only thing is just that um i'm pr just i don't know why i really put it on here um I don't think I was really thinking when I made this list. The charging charge is really good. Don't get me wrong. Just, um, it has some... Like, I, th I think it's that. Like, just, you, you barely have any control with it. And just the base jumper, I mean, like... I, I have a, like, just... Let me, let me try something out on here real quick. I'm behind you. Hey, it restored my health. Oh, damn. He's a spy. He's a spy? Yeah, so, uh, just like, that, that's really all you can really do. Like, you really can't do anything else with it. Um, like, just, would you really charge and, like... Like, like you can't even use the base jumper when you're charging. Like, what is the use of the base jumper? As a demo knight, like unless you do something. Let me kill this guy. Does anybody have any demo man stranges? I, 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 I guess or you can like medics. fly through the air like that, but like you, you really have like no control. I mean, like that, that's a cool feature actually, but like 
You don't really want to look for that in the demo night. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's really all I really need to say for this video, guys. I'm like, these are some, oh, these, these, these really were some really hard loadouts to, uh, figure out. Like, I, I just like, I, I'm kind of sad that I really had to choose these worst loadouts, because just, like, these are some really good loadouts, just, just I had to choose the worst, and, like, apparently just, this was on my list, and I, and I had to make a choice, and, like, these were on my list, like, just good list, and, like, I, these are really good weapons, don't get me wrong, just, um, not really making it on my best list, I mean, just the Persian Persuader, the Charge and Targe, and, uh, and just the, uh, the Bootlegger were just my top. Yeah, I mean, like, if you use this loadout, don't be ashamed. It's really, it's a really good loadout. Um, but just not my type of loadout. So, yeah. Level 1 5 for the Missile Mushroom Club. Click 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 goes and keep those gems. And I'm going to kick out. Boop! Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Team Fortress 2 West, uh, best and worst loadout. So, yeah, see you guys.